Hello friends. So in this video we are going to discuss the next algorithm which are used to generate pseudo random number. Okay. So as we discussed in my previous video about the random number that it is used in key distribution scenario, non session key for the generation of key for the RSA. Okay. So these are the area we are in which we are using random numbers. So the uh, number to be uh, called as a random number. So there are two requirement that is randomness and unpredictability. So all these uh, topic we are already discussed. And uh, next is that there are two algorithm which are used to generate pseudo random number. What is pseudo random number? If a random number which we are calculating by an, uh, any algorithm means me, we can uh, predict the next value. So if this, they are random numbers, but those, the, those random numbers are called pseudo random numbers. Okay. So there are two algorithm which are used to pseudo random numbers. That is one is LCG. We already discussed. So the, in this video, we are going to discuss the next algorithm that is BBS algorithm that is blum blum shub algorithm. Okay, so we will uh, discuss this algorithm with the help of an example. Okay, so this is a very popular approach to generate uh, to sec uh, generate secure pseudo random numbers. Okay, and they are named for its developer that is Blum Blum Shub. Okay, so the first we will discuss the algorithm part and then we take the example. So the first step is for this algorithm is that we have to choose two large prime numbers p and q okay they are prime numbers two large prime numbers and with the condition that that if we divide these two numbers p and q okay if we divide this these two numbers with p and q with the uh, divided with divided by 4 then it will give a remainder as 3 so we can write it as that if we p is equal to q is equal to 3 mod 4. So the first step is that we choose two large prime numbers p and q such with the condition is that p and q is divided when divided by 4 then it will give a remainder 3. Now the next step is then we have to calculate a value n which is equals to p into q. Okay. Now the third step is now we choose a random number s. Okay, now we choose a random number S with such with a condition that that it is relatively prime, relatively prime to N. What does it mean? Relatively prime to N means means uh, that neither P because N is equals to P into Q. So this means that neither P nor Q is a factor of S. So with this condition, we have to select this random number S. Okay. Then the fourth step is then we have to calculate a value x naught which is equals to s square mod n. Okay. Then we take a value for uh, we can say we take a loop i equals to uh, i equals to 1 to n what uh, 1 to k. What is k here? k is number of random numbers means how many numbers you have to generate as random number. So, we put it as k here. Now, this after this we calculate uh, the next step is we have to calculate xi value means the if I suppose uh, i equals to 1 means the first random value. So, we have to calculate with the help of this formula that is i minus 1 whole square mod n. And the last step is that we have to uh, generate the BBS generator produce a sequence of bits bi as xi mod 2. So these are seven steps for BBS algorithm. So the most important point is that the difference between the two algorithm that is LCG and BBS is that LCG is used to generate a random number or pseudo random numbers as integers and Whereas the BBS algorithm is used to generate pseudo random numbers in terms of bits means in terms of 1 and 0. Okay. So with the help of this algorithm, now we take one example. So to see that how this algorithm works. Okay. Suppose uh, the first step is that we have to choose two large prime numbers P and Q with such a condition that if I divide this with, uh, with 4, this P and Q, then it gives a remainder 3. So the example I'm taking here is uh, P as uh, if I'm taking P as 7 and Q as 11 here. So if I divide 7 by 4, it gives a remainder 3. Yes. 
If I divide 11, this is number 11 with 4, it gives a remainder 3. So the first step is that we choose two prime numbers that is p equal to 7 and q equals to 11. Okay, the next step is that we have to calculate n. So, uh, so n equals to p into q. Okay, so p into q means 7 into 11 that is 77. So this is your second step. Now the third step is we have to choose a prime uh, random number s with the condition that it, it is relatively prime to n means neither p nor q is a factor of s. So if I choose s as 12 here, so it is relatively prime to n, why? Because 12 is not a factor of p as well as nor q. So if I am take, you can take s uh, any value, if, if I am taking s equal to 12 here, then the next step is we have to calculate x0. So x0 will be calculated as s square means 12 square mod 7 that is 77. So 12 square mod 77 it will comes out to be 67 here. After this we have to calculate of x of i means the if uh, from initially i equals to 1 here means if I am calculating the first random value so I am calculating x1 here. So x1 is equals to xi minus 1 ka whole square. This means x0 square mod n. So what is the value of x, uh, x0 is 67. So 67 square mod 77 it comes out to be uh, 23 here. Then for the BBS generator uh, we have to generate the sequence of bits. So the first bit or first random pseudo random value is b1 here. So xi means x1 mod 2. So it will be 23 mod 2. So the first sequence bit or we can say the first random pseudo random value is 1 here. So in a similar manner we can calculate all the random values with the help of this BBS algorithm. Okay, now I am taking one more, I am calculating one more value uh, that is B2 value. So in the same way, next uh, after this I am calculating X2 here. So X2 will be X1 whole square mod 77. What is X1 here? X1 is 23. So 23 square mod 77. 23 square is 529 mod 77 and it comes out to be 67. Then we calculate the next bit that is B2 here. So B2 is equals to X mod 2 that is 67 mod 2 and it comes out to be 1. So the next sequence bit is 1 here. So the in K, if I am uh, take a loop from i equals to 1 to 1 to 2 means k equal to 2. If I have to calculate 2 random value in terms of bits. So this is uh, the value will be 1 1. The sequence bit will be 1 1 here. So this is how we can use BBS algorithm to generate pseudo random numbers in terms of bits. Okay, so if you still have any doubt then you can ask in our comment section. So keep watching our video. Thank you so much.